Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And this week I'd like to talk to you about accountability. Now, if we're really, truly serious about implementing new, good, wholesome and holy habits into our habitus and rooting out of our habitus bad, sinful, unhelpful and unwholesome habits, then we need to at some stage get serious about this thing called accountability. Our neighbours at the moment have got some scaffolding outside their house because they've got some problems with the guttering. Um, and you see scaffolding, don't you, when people are trying to fix a problem with a house or they're trying to build that house in the first place. You need that temporary external structure to help you to build or to fix. And the same is true of the spiritual life. Henry Cloud, a, sp a Christian psychiatrist, has used the phrase, where there is weakness, add external structure. Where you can't do something in your own strength, then you need help from outside. An organisation that models this really powerfully are the Alcoholics Anonymous or the NA or other spin-off recovery groups that use a 12-step programme. And those programmes start with the recognition uh, of the person concerned that they are powerless to overcome that addiction on their own. They need help, it says, from a higher power. And for Christians that means the Holy Spirit of God giving the power to transform, to, be, to stick at the process, to see it through because they can't do it on their own. It's also a radical um, accountability to a group of people and in the AA or the NA that's expressed through regular meetings with a set pattern or format and a sponsor or mentor who asks you, you've given permission to them to ask you those difficult questions, how are you doing, how are you really doing it? and you can be vulnerable and honest with them about your progress or lack thereof. Now why don't we do that as a Christian community? Why don't we have that level, that temperature of accountability in our communities? Because the truth is, although we might not be addicted to something as obviously harmful as drugs or alcohol, we are all addicted to the life that we are currently living. I'll say that again, we are all addicted to the life we are currently living. That's why we call it a habitus. We automatically do it. And Jesus is calling us to a different way of life, to a deeper walk with him, to a holy habit. And so we need to get serious about accountability. Now that might be to a close friend, a spouse, a mentor. It might be to a prayer triplet or a home group or whatever works for you. But we need to get serious about that. And that can tail off over time. So we need to keep that sharp. Or it might be we need to change our external circumstances so that in the same way that the shopaholic, for example, cuts up their bank card so that they physically can't go down that avenue anymore, we need to change our external circumstances to help us to become more holy. My question is this week, what does that mean for you?